please. Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate? You should ask who yourself, who taught you to hate being what God gave you. We teach you to love the hair that God gave you. Here you way out in the middle of the ocean, can't swim, and you worried about someone that's in the bathtub and can't swim. We don't steal, we don't gamble, we don't lie, and we don't cheat. And that also deprives the government of revenue. <laughs> because you can't get into a whiskey bottle without getting past the government seal. You can't open a deck of cards without getting past the government seal. There's a white man makes the whiskey and then puts you in jail for getting drunk. He sells you the cards and the dice and puts you in jail when he gets you using them. So he's against us because we fix it where he can't catch you anymore. We take the dice out of your hands and the cards out of your hands and the whiskey out of your head. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. And as Muslims, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us to respect our women and to protect our women. And then the only time a Muslim really gets real violent is when someone goes to molest his woman. We will kill you for our woman. I'm, I'm making it plain, yes. We will kill you for our woman. We believe that if the white man will do whatever is necessary to see that his woman gets respect and protection, then you and I will never be recognized as men until we stand up like men and place the same penalty over the head of anyone who puts his filthy hands out to put in the direction of our women.